Hello and welcome back to part 3 of my first ever Dark Souls board game game playing experience. Here we have our brave knight, Sir Keriad Palmorian, who has just slain a silver knight. That's something I normally have difficulty with, so he's doing well. We should be proud of him. And here, two foul hollows intent on spilling his blood. And in fact it's their turn now, so we'll get straight into that. So the first one's going to come in and assault him with its blade. I was going to say attack, but change my mind to assault. It will attack for four points of damage, and he will defend as best he can with his armor and shield. And, oh, four whole points, not a point of damage taken. Brilliant. The second one will also move in and attack. A three and a one, four points again. So, Cariad Palmorian proves durable. So we go back to his turn now. He recovers two points of stamina. And actually... Hmm... Can he move after attacking? I'm not sure, because I know he gets a move and an attack on his turn. Let's look it up. Want to move and move before or after, but not both. Okay, awesome. Yep, yeah, so I think he's going to attack once, then move away. He will attack this one with his sword. Now, there's one up. Hmm. It's likely to actually survive, so we're going to go in heavy again. Big Bosch. Risky. But if I finish him off, where did that go? If I finish him off, then I'm significantly safer on the next turn. So that brings me up to a blue and a black. Two points of damage to his one resistance and one health, so he is slain. After that, I will be moving one space. I could spend stamina to move again, but if I take two points of damage, I'm actually dead. So that was probably a mistake. So, end the turn there. The hollow will turn and advance. Sword at the ready. Four whole points of damage. Oh, I've made a huge mistake, haven't I? I've made a huge mistake and he's going to die. Well, black and a blue. Oh no! No, no! He defends against two points of damage. Takes two points and perishes! Oh. He returns to a bonfire. He has no souls to leave behind. What a tragedy! What a disaster! Actually, can you see him at the bonfire here? Yeah, he's still in shot. That's good. Right. Oh, no. It was all going so well, but he was over-eager. His eagerness got the better of him, and he has fallen. And there we are. He died. Expect the words you died to appear off on screen. No, I, I can't technically do that. I probably shouldn't try anyway. But, yes, Sir Kerad Palmorian has perished already. The encounter resets. Well, this is Dark Souls after all, so let's try again. He ventures through the doorway, growling slightly in frustration at the motorbike going past. And once again, Foes appear, ready to assault him. So, as last time, the Silver Knight Swordsman advances and then attacks. For five, he will defend armor, shield and armor. Oh, perfect. And he is forced back. And then the two hollow soldiers advance towards him but do not arrive. So over committing to heavy attacks this early on is a big mistake but light attacks just aren't going to take that silver knight down and I think taking the silver knight out is the way to go so we'll go in there big heavy attack four whole points of stamina that four stamina cost is immense it's just, you know, it's, it's a death trap waiting to happen. But a black and a blue. All I need is three... Oh, five! 
five swords. He is decimated. Driven through the heart with that sharp sword point in that power attack stance there. I still haven't got a replacement figure yet. That's a mildly annoying. I might have to look into maybe sculpting the missing part myself. But we'll see. So he is on this space. The hollow will advance and attack for four damage. Armor and shield. Hey! And the second one will come up and attack. Armor and shield again. Oh, he, a point gets through. Alright, so at the beginning of Kerriad's turn, he will recover two points of stamina. Then he will do a normal light attack against this hollow here, which does no damage, and he will move away because he's conserving his stamina. Well, yeah, he doesn't want to overextend himself and get into the same sort of situation he got into last time. And as the pigeons coo for his death, they bray for his blood, in comes a hollow soldier. Sword slashing and slicing, but his armour is valiant and protects him. His armour is durable, not valiant. Second one comes in, armour and shield. Oh, another point of damage gets through. Okay. So, it's his turn, he recover two stamina. Spend four for a heavy attack. This is risky, but, you know, the light attacks just aren't doing it at the moment. I wonder what the light attacks are good for, apart from maybe just... Hmm. Maybe baiting a bit of aggro or something. Yeah. Yes, I know, you pigeon, you're very loud and noisy. Right, sword attack. Oh, his basic attack is one blue, not one black. Right. That makes more sense, right? Sword attack, three dead, destroyed, and then he's going to back up to the chest. The hollow will follow up and assault him. Let's hope his shield and armor, you know, his shield, which is on his back, not doing a lot of good there. Shield and armor. Oh, another point of damage gets through. Okay. So my turn. Remove two points of stamina and go for a light attack with the sword here. Two points. That's one point of resistance, one point of health. The hollow soldier is defeated and now knowing that they are somewhat easier to defeat, I can celebrate. So the encounter is at an end. Two souls go into the soul pool. And I'm going to open that chest and see what's in it. See what's inside. Now, I think it's just a pull from the treasure deck, but I could be mistaken. Let me see. Chests, one second. Um. Oh, two treasure cards. Wonderful. So let us see what this now open chest contains. A claymore. A hefty two-handed blade. And... Oh, Exile Armour. Now that actually looks like it can be worn and used. It's not... It doesn't have... Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have the magic and range resistance quite so much, but it's got some interesting upgrade opportunities. That might be worth looking into. It would require more strength and faith. And of course we all know you've got to have faith. Well... Having defeated this encounter, Sir Cariad Palmorium presses on into the next chamber. Probably a big mistake, by the way. Where he will be faced by... Oh! Horror of horrors! Right. We have... Two... Hollow soldiers. A barrel. Yeah, where's his... Where's the barrel tokens? Hmm. Ah, there we go. A barrel on the... that one? Yep. And... as if things weren't bad enough... a silver knight archer. Oh, it's just going to be really horrible, isn't it? Let's turn the camera around a little there to show that. 
I'll probably reposition my camera for the next video. But I'll say bye-bye for now and see you all next time. Cheerio!